Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. Yes, we finally have a new update for the dev channel. And this one is basically just an enable and package for the build 26100, which is the RTM build for Windows 11 24H2. And the OS build or the enable and package that we've got today is 26120.461. Now, Microsoft has done some changes related to the dev channel and features that are being tested in the dev channel should be released later on on the better channel and so on. And as mentioned by Phantom Machine 3, the purpose of these enablement packages or cumulative updates are to test the remaining features for the initial 24H2 release in September, as well as features that are planned to be released after that. And in 24H2, we should also have new feature drops, but they won't be called moment updates anymore. When I'll have more info about this, of course, I'm gonna share it in a different video. And also on the dev channel, as well as on the better channel, you have to go to Windows Update and enable this feature, get the latest updates as soon as they're available if you want to get all the latest features on your system because if you don't have this enabled some features will not be enabled right away for you as you can see here be among the first to get the latest non-security updates fixes and improvements as they roll out so enable this check for updates and you should get this latest update, which is the enablement package for 24H2. So before talking about this build even more, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPay channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access, a virtual private network where VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, this update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. And related to Windows Copilot, Microsoft has started to pause the rollouts of some features, for example, the Copilot acting like a normal window. Or or the taskbar icon animating to indicate that Copilot can help you when you copy text or images. I think this is done by Microsoft so that they can test things even further and apply the needed fixes for some issues that they found. And again, related to Copilot and Windows, Microsoft is rolling out a fix for the issue causing Copilot to auto launch unexpectedly for Windows insiders in the Canary, Dev, and Beta channels after restarting their PCs. This issue was unrelated to the auto launching experience that they've tried out with insiders in the Canary and Dev channels because that was stopped rolling out in March. In this dev channel build, as found by Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter, the icon for the new AI Explorer is present in this enablement package. And there is only one difference. We have the preview label in the bottom right. And basically one thing that I need to mention, maybe some of you didn't understand exactly from my previous videos in which I talked about new Windows 11 24H2 features, especially the new AI features. This new AI Explorer is not the same as the File Explorer. So the File Explorer will continue to be an official app or part of of Windows, the new AI Explorer will be something different based off of AI. So this is something that I need to mention and clarify so that no one understands it differently. So as for new features and fixes in this build, this is pretty much all there is to it. This is everything that Microsoft mentions. But of course, this is a big build or enablement package because it is the start of the 24H2 official feature testing and uh, we should see more interesting features in the near future. Microsoft is also adding some reminders in the official post. So first of all, updates released to the dev channel are now based off of Windows 11 version 24H2. Again, features and experiences that we will test in these builds may never roll out as Microsoft is trying out and seeing if users like them or not, or they could be released later on based off of feedback and more. Again, not all features will be rolling out to all insiders, but for that, of course, you can watch my channel because I'm gonna make dedicated videos in which I'll show you how to manual enable certain features. And also now we may notice that certain features will show up first in the beta channel because the dev and the beta channels represent parallel development paths from the Microsoft engineers. So this is pretty much all there is to it to the latest dev channel build or enable package let me know below in the comments what you think about these news and of course if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was imani from TechBase. until next time have a nice day